What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Monday morning, I got a bunch of chores I gotta do today. Just wanted to put something on the web just to kinda showcase everything that I had going on with me video game related this week. Not that there was a whole lot. You know, it's rough times out there. You know, it's rough times for me even though I'm still working and God, this next five days is it's probably gonna be a ball buster at work, let me tell you. But um, yeah, anyway, I did get my stimulus check in. I got an actual physical check. So let's check it out. Look at this check, baby. It's got Donald Trump's name on it and everything. Couldn't be prouder to have this check. And I'm able to deposit it with my phone. I'm not gonna insert this check in an ATM machine. I'm gonna keep that souvenir. Anyway, with the 1200 bucks, this is what I wanna get. This is Ryzen or Ryzen for the Neo Geo AES. This game was never ported anywhere. But I mean, guys, you, look at this thing. I mean, this thing looks amazing. I mean, there's copies out there for like 1200 bucks, and maybe you could shoot somebody an offer, get a copy for right around six to thousand bucks. I've seen them sell for like 650 before, so I really need to get a tooth pulled, so I think I'm gonna use my money for that. But if there's any left over, I think I'm definitely gonna try to find a copy of Ryzen, and I'll probably need another AES, but I have you know controllers and stuff like that. I just need to buy a system and a power supply. But man, God, I've been pushing NG Dev Team, sending them messages on social media, uh, you know, just trying to get this thing moved over to the Dreamcast, moved over to the Neo Geo CD, something. This seems like a game that people should really play, and it reminds me of a cross between Polestar and Redux Dark Matter. So, awesome game for those of you that have played it. I personally have never played it, but I would love to one day. And who knows, maybe it's not worth the $1,200, but I would, I would roll the dice on that one. Next on the agenda, I just want to point out real quick the astronomically high price of the Nintendo Switch. Everybody's talking about it, but I mean, look at this, guys. 400, 500 bucks. Is it that Animal Crossing one? What, six, seven, 800? That's crazy. My first Switch I ever got, and I waited to get one. I had a couple Japanese games that I bought before I got my console. Got from my boss for free because his son didn't want it. The second one I got off the streets of Baltimore for 200 bucks, complete in box. Sold it for 250 and I had to pull teeth to get that sale. So it's just, you know, part of me wishes I should have held on to it, but I couldn't I couldn't get over on anybody like that. I'd have sold it for three at the most, you know, even now. Because them prices, y'all, them prices are crazy. All right, now I want to talk about this flaw on the PS4. Now, for many years, the PlayStation brand has been a trusted, known, great CD player. The PS1 played CDs great. And I'm going through this luggage here, finding some of my old shirts. I mean, look at that uh, False Love and uh, True Idol shirt with the Panda Bear with the Uzi. I find these CDs and I'm seeing Lord Lust, uh, Bloodline, uh, King Magnetic. I'm really into, or I was into, really, really into underground hip hop. And I want to listen to these CDs. So what's one of the consoles that I have that's CD based that's hooked up all the time? PlayStation 4. So I brought this collection of CDs out of the depths of the basement, out to the main part of the basement where I have my PS4 hooked up. And I'm not going to stick it in there now, but I shoved the CD into the Blu-ray drive and it sounded like my PS4 was gonna explode. It was making all kind of, it sounded like a Dreamcast. You guys know to play the Dreamcast, it's like meh, 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 meh. And it, it didn't sound good. And then I looked online and it said that you should never put an audio CD in your PS4 unless it's an MP4 format. And then even then you have to do something with the files. It's kind of weird. So it'll recognize the audio if it reads it as a video, I take it. That's kind of stupid, Sony. Why wouldn't you give us a CD player? I still listen to CDs. I know kids that are in their teens and 20s now, and hell, probably their 30s, and people my age even, probably don't listen to many CDs, but I mean, it's a disc-based console, Sony. Come on! Here we have a little pickup, little unboxing. That's right, Trials of Mana on the Nintendo Switch. I went to my local Walmart to pick up this game, and every website that I went on, I went on Target, I went on GameStop, Best Buy, everywhere was sold out of this game at Walmart. They had a few of them. People had PS4 versions, but it was $44 after taxes. Considering this game sells for $50, it looks like online, that's pretty good. I guess Walmart gets so many of them, they could sell them at a discounted rate, you know, straight from the, uh, the, the manufacturer or whatever. Let's see if this game comes with a manual. I doubt it, but let's just see. Okay, no manual, but you do get, looks like an advertisement for some merchandise, a uh, little warranty card behind there better than nothing you know i'm not opposed to actually having digital manuals on the disc or cart but whatever at least there's some cool inner cover art i'm not going to say that's reversible cover art but games like bloodstain ritual of the night they could have really benefited from some inside cover art like that but you know this uh this little i don't know what the heck I guess some kind of advertisement i don't know 
better than nothing. At least there's something in there. But anyway, Trials of Mana on the Nintendo Switch. So that's pretty much everything, guys. Not a whole lot to report. I have been playing a lot of shooters as usual. But if there's one thing I could report, I did hear from a couple of people that Ginga Force or Ginger Force, whatever you want to call it, on the Xbox 360, the same people that made Eskatos, that's actually getting ported to the PS4, maybe the Switch. I heard the PS4. And there's another game that that developer actually made that's coming to the PS4 as well. The Switch, I'm not 100% sure about that. I just heard the PS4, so that's pretty cool. That's a notoriously expensive game on the Xbox 360. I actually got that game from Video Games New York for pretty much retail at a convention a couple of years ago. Great shooter. And it's weird, there's not a PC like Dojin version like there is like Eskatos, Ginger 4. I've never seen it anyway, but it is coming to the PS4. Hopefully, the footage of the game you're watching right now, Crimson Clover. Hopefully we see games like that come to the PS4 and the Nintendo Switch, but in a perfect world, right? Anyways, guys, till next time. Peace out.